These are stats your pets can get through a skill called Fin Pet Mastery, which stacks with this Shine of a Weka and Divine Link. And I bet my pets got better stats than some of your characters. <laughs> and don't forget, Divine Link transfers half of your pet stats to you. So having a stronger pet makes you stronger too. You train the Link skill through the Crusader system, which I already made a video about and will link in the description below. But both Finn Pet Mastery and Shine of Awika can be trained at the exact same time using a skill called Finn Sync. And that's what I'm gonna teach you today. First, you have to get Fin Sync. Equip a Fin Bell, which you can buy from Price, to start receiving the pet training questline and complete it to unlock all of the Finny skills. Then, if you use Fin Sync while a pet is summoned, you'll get this window. Click on the box up here to see a list of pets you can feed to your summoned one. And yeah, you heard me right. Feed. Any pet you select here will be gone forever. But their total levels will combine, increasing Shine of Awika, as well as their summoning time limit up to three inventories, and your pet's mastery skill will gain experience. Pets to feed are hard to get though. You can get free ones during many of the events throughout the year, but the easiest ones to get are called Finny Pets. During the pet training questline, you'll be forced to make one of these things. They're cages you can birth pets from. Once you get the Finny catching skill, monsters will start dropping these Finny gems. Pick him up and throw him into these cages and boom, you'll get these finny whistles that you can use to get finny pets. There's one last thing you need though. Harmonious Cosmos Perfumes. One for every single pet you feed. I just buy them from other players on the market because they're pretty cheap for me. But if you want to make them yourself, you can do that by using the Finny Crafting Skill. It requires an empty bottle, 10 magic powders, 10 base herbs, and a Cosmos Extract for each one. You've probably seen all of these around at some point except for the Cosmos Extracts. They're sold by this dear NPC in Magmel, but she doesn't take gold. Only gold leaf pine Cones, which you can get by selling her some of your finny whistles or by completing the dungeons in Magmel. But uh, I'm not gonna teach you how to do those because those dungeons are a pain in the ass. And unless you figure that out, just sell her your whistles until you can craft some perfumes, then use the rest to make finny pets, then feed them to your pets. Over and over and over and over until its Fin Pet Mastery reaches rank 1. Shine of Awika reaches its maximal potential once your pet's total level 10,000, but by the time you reach rank 1 for the Mastery skill, it's usually way past it. Now slap on Divine Link and BAM! You now have a near fully decked out pet. I said near, cause there's actually tons more stuff you can do for them. There's elementals, skills, these slots that let you summon other pets without desummoning the current one. Training pets is almost as complex as training your actual character. So go check out Firelight's videos on pet training for way more detail. He knows a lot about it and is the one who made my current main pet for me. I'll leave his links in the description below as well. Hope this helps some of y'all out. Peace.